in today's video, we're going to get back to uh, basically get show some structured text examples. I want to show some structured text examples showing uh, basically how to uh, to use it for speed controls as far as a system. Um, in this instance, we'll, we will be showing how to use it for um, like a drive control speed. And just a real simple cut and dry if then else statement and uh, kind of touch base on on uh, structure text again. If the and I'll show in the show notes below, um, you know the old structure text videos I have that are just basically state transitions and stuff. But this is a, a different impl implementation, and I kind of like to give a little bit of foresight on it. So again, um, starting off from scratch, uh, emulator version 20, uh, title, right? Uh, slot one, doesn't matter what slot we're in, we're using the emulator. But I am using slot one, it's just good to note that when you uh, when you start uh, your download process. So uh, real quick in here, I will throw my main program. Uh, again, you know, pretty much uh, like to, to stay with the uh, periodic task, right? Or that's just my preference um, and then I like to notate on the back side of the uh, <clears throat> the task what it what the scan rate is so what we'll do is we'll make our, our we'll jump down and make our program right we're going to change the type to structure text and we'll put drive speed control <clears throat> Okay, so now we want to link again. We want to, to do what we naturally do, right? Jump to jump to subroutine, and jump into subroutine. We'll go to our drive speed control. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to the the uh, nuts and bolts of basically what we want to accomplish. <coughs> so first and foremost, uh, what we'll do is we'll illustrate or we'll, we'll describe what we want to do. We want to set uh, the speed speed command for the drive using structured So that's just to kind of, you know, notate uh, what we want to do. So in the first instance, what we're uh, first and foremost, um, if you start the if statement, um, what I like to do in this instance is I would like, and this is again going to be, this is going to be illustrating the if then else function. Uh, so basically the first, the first line of defense is what you see when you're, when you're trying to the, the first construct of, of uh, structured text that you, you generally see. That is the most popular one, and the second one is the case function. So, what, what we'll do is we'll say if first scan. Oh, I put that in wrong. If first scan, uh, then we want to, and what we're going to have to make our tag, right? So, we'll put, we'll make this as a speed reference. And then we'll make the speed reference. Um, we can put it as a dent right now. Um, I don't really see a, a, a big reason to put it as a, a real. We're not actually going to to address out right now. So, um, but real quick, I just want to we'll make the tag, and then we'll come back and we'll put uh, equals to zero, and then we'll end. We'll end the if, right? Because after every after every start, you need to end it. Okay, so in that instance, if the first scan happens, then we uh, 
take the, the speed command to zero, right? That's just basically starting out the system. Um, in the next instance, and we can say that too, we can you know, come back up here and put the, the commands of our, basically say, if processor first scan, then move a zero into the speed. <clears throat> so we can put that in there uh, just to kind of highlight what we're doing. The next we want to say if the like a, a speed increase button so increase and what we'll do is we'll make a tag we'll just say speed increase PV and then that's going to be a bull so make sure we note, notate that in structure text, it's important that you, you, if you're making your tags, that you know exactly what you're putting in, as far as your your uh, data types. And then, then at that point, we're going to say, okay, we're going to say that if the speed command, so the speed reference, so copy that, or you can type it if you want to. Then the speed reference is going to be <coughs> equal to the speed reference and then we're going to say plus 01 for the, this instance and then we're going to basically end it and then at that point what we can do is we can say then like we'll do like an else if and then we'll do like a speed decrease. So we'll do speed decrease PB. And again, this is going to be a bull. If the speed decreased, then we want to do the same, basically the same function. We want to come down and uh, change the speed reference. And then we want to basically, uh, we want to subtract at this point, and then we'll subtract the, the same amount, 0.01. Actually, what I'm doing here, I think I need to do this. This is why I didn't like it. <clears throat> so in that instance, um, basically we want to come down and then if, for instance, the the end of this statement should, should look more or less like this. And then we'll put if else speed increase. Oh, hold on. I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did. And then we'll put speed reference. Oh. Okay. So sorry about that. Yeah, so if it separates this out, this out a little bit more, um, the speed button and the speed button should actually have thens behind them and then the reference and then what you should do behind it, right? So that I kind of got a little, little out of, ahead of myself, I should say. And then say for an instance else, you want your speed reference 
to equal speed reference. And then we want to end if Okay, so uh, to kind of go through this uh, a little bit better, we want to say <coughs> if the speed reference, so so if, if, for instance, the speed increase button is pressed, then we want to have the speed reference increased by plus one, our plus 0.01. If else, if the speed decrease button is pressed, then the oh yeah, watch when you're <laughs> uh, that, that happens. Um, then the speed again is decreased. Okay, so we're going to undo that. Um, if the speed decrease is pushed then the speed will decrease by 0 0.01 right and then else the speed is the speed so um so if, if that's kind of like i mean that should be kind of cut and dry so if we if we do have a first scan we want to set the speed to a zero and if the increase is pressed increase the speed um other than that you know basically you know you cut that that's pretty much what you would have um you can actually, you can, I don't know, let's just, let, I'll tell you what, let's just run this and we, we'll come back and put a little bit more after that, but I'll, I want to kind of illustrate what, what's happening here. All right, so um, let's just download to uh, the VB, it's AB VBP, uh, which is the Allen Bradley uh, virtual backplane. Again, we're using a virtual chassis, so uh, go back and download that. To the, the what the slot number we chose, right? Okay, so up in the top, we can go to watch, and you can see that the, the speed hasn't changed. So the speed is exactly like, say, for instance, you already had 20 in there. If the speed increase button is pushed, then the speed reference, which is the speed reference here, um, should be plus one. Actually, we, we should make this a little stronger. We should say, let's just let's just take this a little higher. Let's say plus two, and it might be because we're we're not showing increments high enough. So again, go back to watch. So you, you see the speed increasing, right? And then say for instance you wanted to you push the button again, you wanted it down, you want it to uh, index down. And then what we can do to protect that, because what's going to happen is, is uh, basically, let's just say for this, for, for just, you know, to, to kind of illustrate what would happen if we had no protection in here. We need to write protection logic in here to, to stop it from going below a certain amount and, and higher than a certain amount. But let's just show that. You can see you're going to start running backwards here, right? So, again, the importance of, this is just the start of it showing the illustration of how to write uh, speed difference, right? So to go back through this, right? So first scan, speed is equal to zero. If by chance the speed increase button is pressed, and then obviously in real life, um, the limitation or the, the 
the chances of that button getting stuck on and the speed just keep increasing is pretty rare. Um, but again, that could happen. So to kind of go back through it, if the speed increase button is pressed, then you want to take you want to take speed reference plus two in our instance. Now we can take it lower or higher, however, however you want to do that. But uh, in this instance right here, we're just ind indicating it, you know, plus two. And then we want to say else if, so in other words, else if this is not happening, then this could, this could have the potential to happen. Then if the speed decrease button is pressed, then go ahead and take the speed reference minus two. And then the else is always the speed equals the speed, right? So, um, real quick, this gives a short cut and dry method of, of how to do speed controls and that nature. Um, kind of wanted to show a different illustration. And I, I let me fix that too, because I don't like, honestly, I don't like going by twos. It's just something that, um, personally, I like to keep one shot should be one shots, right? Um. So let's watch it again. So we'll increase it and it should increase by one. Of course, that's every time it scans. So it could be whatever. I mean, it's based upon the scan rate right here. At that point, it's, it's, it's cycling through the scan rate. So no matter how many times you hold the button, the scan rate's going to be, you know, basically indexing this. So every every 75 milliseconds, the scan rate is going to drop and, and keep indexing this up. Um, so uh, real quick, I just wanted to show, you know, I did a lot of if and that. Uh, I did the four constructs of the uh, structure text before. I, I showed the, the use of a if and the, if, if then and else function. I showed the, 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 the construct of the case function. Um, a couple different ones as far as that goes. Um, you know, basically, you can see in the show notes below, I'll, I'll link all the videos that I had previously made. And then what I'll do is that way, if there's any questions and you, you want to see more or less or, or a different uh, use of something, then it's easy to do. Um, you know, you can just say, hey, you know, watch that video and put a comment below. I'll go ahead, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and make a video for it or something of that nature. Um, but real quick, I just, like I said, I wanted to illustrate this is, a, uh, the, being that the if, then, and else function is one of the most popular ones used. And then the case function is, is another popular one that's used. Um, I'll probably do another one on case too. But um, again, I'll, I'll put in the show notes below, I'll put all the videos that I prior, prior made. And maybe that uh, that kind of touched base on, on the foundation of where we started. And uh, again, if you have any kind of comments or, or questions or something of that nature, just go ahead and let me know. And I'll be more than happy to assist and help. Uh, maybe make a video on something that, that you're having trouble with or, or you have a question with or, or even you want to try to, 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 you know, set up an emulator or something like that for yourself and, and just kind of play around with it. Uh, it's a very helpful tool. I will say that. Um, I do a, I do a lot of projects and stuff, and I do a lot of emulation, and I do a lot of uh, simulation. So uh, basically, when I do that, you know, you get a project to about a ninety percent rate that it works, and then you can put it in, and then you, you fight the last 10 percent, you're good. So uh, with all that said, not to get into a ramble, rant, whatever. Um, thank you for your time. I know this has been like up to nineteen minutes now. Um, thank you for your time. I hope you, you got something out of this and uh, let me know. All right. Thank you for your time.